Photoshop. You've probably heard that name before because it's everywhere. It is used both as a tool and a verb. And then you Photoshop him in later, okay? It's a go-to software for editing photos, but there is a catch. It costs money, and over time, that can really add up. Still, people keep using Photoshop. Why? Because it has super advanced tools, especially when it comes to AI features that most other free alternatives don't have yet. But wait, what if I told you that there is a free option now? Hi, Gideon here, and in this video, I'll show you how to install and use the Krita AI Diffusion plugin. It turns Krita, an already awesome open source painting tool, into a powerful art studio. And best of all, it's completely free. Now, Krita is a free and open source software. It was designed mainly for digital artists, but it can also do basic photo editing, animation, and graphic design. If you haven't already, Download and install the latest version of Krita from the official website. I'll include a link in the description below. Next up is downloading the Krita AI Diffusion plugin. Again, I'll include a direct link for you down below. Once it's downloaded, let's move on to installing it inside of Krita. But what is a Krita AI Diffusion plugin? It is a plugin that seamlessly integrates the power of Stable Diffusion, an AI model for image generation, into Krita enabling artists to leverage text prompts and selection tools to in-paint, out-paint, refine, and generate new artwork directly within the familiar Krita workspace. So let's install the plugin. Start Krita and go to Tools, Scripts, Import, Python, Plugin from File, and select the zip file that you just downloaded. After importing, make sure to click Yes when asked if you want to enable it. Then let's go to step 4, that is restart Krita, that's important. Open an existing or new image. Enable the plugins window by going to settings, docker, AI image generation. You'll find the plugin panel at the bottom right of your screen. Now, you'll get to this warning, connection attempt failed. But don't worry, you just need to configure a server. So click configure. Here is where you choose how you want to run the AI. There are three options. One, online service, where you connect to a cloud GPU service like interstice.cloud. That is a plugin maker's own cloud service. But of course, it's a paid service. Two, custom Confi UI server. That's for advanced users. So if you already have another Confi UI instance running on your machine, or you have access to a remote instance, then you can choose this option. Lastly, three, the option we'll use is a local managed server, where the plugin installs and runs a local server on your machine. So select local managed server. You'll need at least 10 GB of disk space, and I recommend 20 GB just to be safe. Choose a folder where the server instance and models will be installed. As for the workloads and diffusion models, you can start off with the defaults. There's a link here that has more details on these models. What I would advise, especially for the control net models, is to choose what you need as and when you need them. You'll see what I mean in a few. Click install. The plugin will download everything you need. It might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. So grab a coffee while you wait. You can also grab me a coffee if you are finding any value in this video. Link in the description. Once installed, Krita will connect to that server automatically. So click OK and you're good to go. Now let me show you some of the cool things I did with this plugin. I took this sample photo from the Safari Rally Kenya Kasarani Super Stage and tried removing this race marshal here. This is how I did it. I selected him, then using the cinematic photo Excel model, I selected remove content. I typed remove the man as the prompt, then waited for the AI to fill in that space. Once done, to bring the generated replacement image down here, I selected it by giving it a click, and wow, that looked okay, doesn't it? Perfect? No, but pretty good for free. And the result looks natural, before, after. So if you are satisfied with the generated image, then you can click apply, or this tick, to create a new layer. What if you get weird replacement instead of removal? Yeah, that happened to me too. I tried to remove this other race marshal over here, using this prompt and it added another man. So it didn't quite follow the prompt. 
I also noted that the cinematic photo model doesn't seem to do a good job at removal. So here's my tip. Always be specific with your prompts. Use the right model, that is the Excel, which is the later one of stable diffusion for best results and don't mind trying a few times. So I tried adding things too. For example, I said add rally car and it did just that, though not in the direction I wanted. Again, more details, better results. I should have specified the direction here. Moving on, let me show you something that really excites me about this plugin. Scribbling your idea and letting the AI turn it into a full digital painting. You'll see what I mean. So you don't need to be a great artist. Just scribble what's in your head and let the AI do the rest. Here is how. I drew a simple sunset landscape. Some rolling hills here, some foreground trees. As you can see, it's just a scribble. A river here, some background trees here, clouds and some birds. Finally, the sun. Here I use the digital artwork Excel model, then set up this drawing as a control net for the AI, which means the AI will follow your sketch. So I clicked here and selected the drawing layer as a scribble net. Now, by the way, if you haven't installed the relevant control net, first install it before continuing. Though scribble is installed by default, I think. These are the control nets available. I'll demo line art in a minute. But for now, I'll select Scribble and leave these other settings as default. The first time, I tried it without a prompt and got this. Not so good. So I entered this prompt, which described the scene in great details. Look what you have here. It's a good starting point. It already looks amazing and it just took a few scribbles to get this result. So I wanted to test adding elements, added a dinosaur, a T-Rex for example, in this area. The prompt was add a T-Rex dinosaur in the foreground. And a few seconds later, we have a T-Rex and it blended well with the existing painting. Though you can see the usual AI struggle with the fingers and the extra leg here. <laughs> Next, I tested the LineArt control net. So I selected and installed the LineArt control net, like I'd shown you earlier. That done, I used my own sketch of an angel horse, something I'd already made for a client. And you'd actually find this image as part of my portfolio. Talking about portfolios, as a creative yourself, you need one. I have a video coming up where I'll show you step by step how to create your own custom portfolio website. You can use your own custom domain name and you'll host it securely for free. So subscribe so that you don't miss that one. Now back to the video. I selected digital artwork because I wanted to make a digital artwork and set my line art layer as the line art control net. I selected line art here. For the prompt, I used angelic black horse with white wings. Yeah. <laughs> And look, not bad. It didn't quite follow my prompt, but again, a good starting point with just a few text prompts. I experimented with the other models and these were the results. I also tested the generative fill. I selected an empty, sp an empty space in this rally photo for the AI to fill in. In the drop down. I selected expand with no prompt and gave it a few minutes. This is what it came up with. It works. Let me deselect and go for a before and after. I can see here the grass is okay. Though it, it interpreted the wall in the background as a hill. But all in all, this blends well. Those are some of the tests I did with the Krita AI Diffusion plugin. This plugin is incredible. And I will definitely use it a lot. Especially the scribble and line art control nets. And the best part, it is completely free and open source and private if you host it on your local machine. Anyway, this video took a bit longer than usual, but I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or I missed something, please let me know down below. Oh, by the way, I did try the in painting or what they call live painting feature. It is awesome. 
but my GPU couldn't handle it and the screen recording well. So if you usually shop on Amazon, kindly use my affiliate link down below, then I can get some funds to upgrade my GPU. Thank you. Anyway, like it or not, AI is changing the way we create art. And it's not going away. So use it to your advantage, or someone else will. Thanks for watching. Till the next one, lights out. Those were some of the tests I did with the Krita AI plugin diffusion. <laughs>